Hello, it's Mr. Wyman here reading for you a Wonder Women of History, um, an older comic from the Wonder Woman series, actually. And today's uh, hero, heroine, is Lucretia Mott, a Quaker minister living between 1793 and 1880. Great in deeds, great in woman womanhood, Lucretia Mott, minister, wife, and mother of six children, was also the fearless champion of all oppressed peoples. Her flaming hatred of injustice made her an ardent advocate of women's rights, popular education, temperance, but her great heart was most moved by the glaring injustice of all time, the bondage of human beings. Born Lucretia Coffin on the island of Nantucket on January 3rd, 1793, of uh, a daughter of Quakers, she was taken to the mainland when she was 10. Mainland meaning like the colonies. And at this point, it, the Revolutionary War in 1793 would have just ended like a, a couple decades earlier. And it is now a new nation, the United States of America. In a Quaker boarding school in New York, where nine-year-old Lucretia was a pupil, Richard, thou has been seen speaking to the girls again. Thou wilt remain in that closet and sup on only bread and water until thou realizeth how wicked thou art for having talked with girls. So this is a little boy. And as you can see back here in the silhouette of this window, there is someone saying, Psst, Lydia, look. I wonder who that person is talking to. Wicked indeed. What is so wicked about boys and girls speaking to each other? It is a silly rule. That's what this person is saying. Poor Richard locked in that closet without supper. That evening, Lucretia helped young Richard just as half a lifetime later, she was to harbor runaway slaves. So now we're getting some foreshadowing what's coming next. So this is probably Lucretia because the hat looks similar to this hat. That's what the artist is doing here. And this color of her, of her garb her garment is similar to this color and she says here is thy dinner Richard what do you think about the the way that these people are talking the dialect that they're using it's um pretty like old-fashioned wouldn't you say thank you Lucretia I am hungry I am hungry Lucretia's anger at injustice was again aroused when at 16 she became a teacher I do not understand. My salary is only half that of the men teachers, yet I do the same work. And here she is barging in and speaking to the principal of the school. Let's see what he has to say. My dear Miss Coffin, surely you cannot expect the same pay as a man. I notice the school expects the same tuition fees from girls as from boys. Tuition fees are the cost of going to school. So girls have to pay just as much in order to get their education as the boys, but yet women teachers didn't get paid as much as male teachers. Not fair. Lucretia found a young male teacher, James Mott, sympathetic. I agree that women should be paid the same as men for equal work. James, thou art the only man I know who is fair-minded. Lucretia left the school for her parents' home in Philadelphia. Soon after, James joined her father in his business on April 11, 1811, in the Pine Street Meeting House in Philadelphia before a gathering of Quakers. What? And henceforth, in the eyes of God, I, James Mott, and this woman, Lucretia Coffin, are man and wife. So what's going on here? Man and wife, they're getting married. In 1817, tragedy struck. Thou still hast 
the older children, dear. My poor, poor baby, gone. You'll have to use inferencing skills to figure out what's going on here. But you have an empty bed that looks small. And where do you think the baby went? I think Lucretia and her husband lost a child, like it died, right? But her grief, unassuaged, Lucretia sought comfort in prayer. O oh Lord, for what reason thou hast seen fit to take my baby Thomas, I know not, but I believe in thee. Lucretia's thrilling voice and eloquent speech so moved Quakers that they made her a minister. Now, Quakers is a type of uh, religion, and it's, it falls under the category of Christian. Um, Quakertown, near us, is actually a town founded by people within this um, religious ideology, way of thinking. We must treat all men as brothers, those who disagree with us as well as those who agree. Yea, and black men as well as white. Here she is standing up in front of um, men and women speaking. After the war of 1812, when James Mott lost his business, he became a dealer in cotton. One day at a Quaker meeting, Lucretia had a revelation. It is, it is revealed to me, it is a sin to use goods that are produced by the labor of slaves. Henceforth, the Quaker mother purchased only in free, quote unquote, free labor stores. That would mean um, companies that did not use slavery. What happened, mother? So look, it says rip. It looks like she's working with some, clo some cloth, making something. This cloth is poor material, but as long as slaves had no part in picking the cotton, we must not complain. Although Lucretia's home was free labor, her husband's business was not. Then one day, Lucretia, I have considered thy opinions. It will mean a loss at first, but henceforth I shall deal not in slave cotton, but in wool. Good. <laughs> Lucretia's firm attitude towards slavery roused bitter opposition by the Quakers. We're just talking about opposition. That means that people who had opposing or opposite I, um, opinions. The Bible does not call slavery a sin. Um, to interfere with slavery would create a terrible disturbance. A lot of people back then, they didn't want to like rock the boat. They didn't want to um, try to work toward change, even if they knew it was right because it would affect the economy and they would lose business. Like you saw earlier in the comic, Lucretia's husband, James Mott, he was going to actually like not make as much money as what he was used to making if he changed from slave cotton to free labor cotton. It says, it is not our affair. And these men wearing top hats um, is like a symbol of business people um, people with more money not being interested in change. If decency and justice are our affair, then slavery is our affair. It is our God-given duty to see it ended. In 1827, the Mots and other dissenting Quakers parted from the Society of Friends. Society of Friends would be like their specific religious organization. Lucretia braved growing resentment among Northerners to make her eloquent attacks on slavery. Here the word braved, brave is used as a verb, and it means that she behaved in such a way as to show bravado or courage. She braved. Um, growing resentment would be like opposition, people who were against her. Careful, dear, you'd better stop now. Here's a guy, like, grabbing her wrist. Hands off, troublemaker. 
says this person. We've got no slaves up north. Why should we interfere? So these people are like trying to get her to maybe um, stop uh, um, stop preaching or talking to the crowd. This very well could be maybe somebody who actually cares about her because it looks like somebody's sitting on stage. Careful, dear. You'd better stop now. Like the crowd is getting out of control and this person's just trying to help maybe. Um, it's hard to make out exactly what's going on, but the illustration is kind of interesting. In 1833, Lucretia organized the American Anti-Slavery Society and became its first president. I did not know that. Americans fought a revolution that they might know the blessing of freedom. How then can we deny this freedom to others simply because their skins are black? Angered because the World Anti-Slavery Convention of 1840 in London refused to recognize women delegates from the U.S., Lucretia helped organize the first women's rights convention held on July 19, 1848 at Seneca Falls, New York. This might be the picture of like a farm where they had it. It let the world not discriminate against us because we be women. Let it judge us on our merits, not our sex. So um, not because we are female. Hear, hear, clap, clap, hear, hear, clap, clap, clap. So it's a, um, ladies are listening to this is probably Lucretia giving a speech. After the Fugitive Slave Law was passed in 1850, the Mott home became a refuge, refuge for runaway Negro bondmen. In other, in other words, people who ran away from slavery um, could uh, seek safety, could hide and, and hang out at the Mott's house. Here is your dinner, Mose. Do not fear. We shall hide you here till we find a safer place farther north. Bless ye, ma'am. In 1857, the Mots moved to a little farm near Philadelphia. James died of pneumonia in 1868, but his grief stricken widow remained a fighting reformer until her death in 1880. Uh, so she outlived him by quite a few years. Uh, 12, 12 more years she worked to help um, black people move to, from the south to the north through the Philadelphia area. Lucretia Mott, ardent foe of, op of oppression, lived to see the blight of slavery banished from our land. This wonder woman pointed the way to us uh, to us the living with her this wonder woman pointed the way to us the living with her spirit to guide us perhaps we too can do our part in making her dreams come true and now look at this here's the comic signed diana prince aka wonder woman so um i think whoever was putting together the comics i think it was Alice Marble um, has either stopped or they've transitioned into pretending that Wonder Woman is actually writing these comics now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed learning more about Lucretia, Lucretia Mott, um, another Wonder Woman, one of the Wonder Women of history.